So this is the prototype of uh, the uh, management of the height of the street. We have here our generated model of the terrain and um, I use the height lines. It's easier and it's more transparent uh, to get the 3D model and now we have hit two curves. The red one is uh, the Y as uh, XY model of the street. The street should run from here this arc and back and the blue line uh, is the height profile of the street. So we want to go up then we have a constant height. We want to go down up again and here is a small gap in this way. So uh, what we can do first um, I hide this one is uh, if we have created this sketch for the Z model we run a test method and this test model displays us how the street will run. We have it here once more here is the red in the underground and if we look from the side uh, we see here it goes up then it goes down up again and so on and now when I say this is exactly what I want I start the method create the tunnels and the bridges and after some time we have the model here uh, I hide this shape to see the rest so we see here the uh, street is blue we see here the connection to the terrain. This is the, the green one. We see here uh, a tunnel through the mountain. And I can delete the street, uh, the connection to the terrain. Then we see here our, our model. Okay, uh, now we can hide all of them. And in the next, uh, we want to change the height profile. Um, so this was the first result. I give it another uh, color. I say it should be for the next brown. Okay. This was the first profile of the street. And now I go uh, to my set sketch and what I want is I want to have uh, at the end of the street that it should be higher and I also do not want this gap here and I want it here a little bit deeper. So, okay, then I close it and I run the test once more and here is the, the second test and I give it another color and now we see the impact. Here the street is lower and at the end it goes more up. So uh, if we have finished this we can run again the creation of the tunnels and the bridges. And now we have the other model and it looks uh, like this now. I hide the grid. So we see here we have once more here a tunnel in this area, then here a second tunnel and here at the end the street goes up. Once more I uh, display the terrain. Then we have this. So uh, the result is we have two curves. We have uh, the red one for the XY coordinates and the blue one for the height. Uh, still we need some discussion how we map this together at the moment. It's so that I use the X direction. This is the length of the, of the segment of this curve and the Y coordinate of the blue line is the height. Uh, this is... Uh, nice for me because I can use this um, data to create uh, a paper model to build a, a paper street mountain environment 
but for real street builders uh, maybe there are other rules uh, we have to fit.